When it comes to the title of the most delayed rocket in the new space age, Blue Origin's New Glenn undoubtedly takes the crown. After years of setbacks and countless promises, the rocket has yet to make its maiden flight, leading many to view the project as more science fiction than reality. This time is not exceptional. Following the cancellation of a launch window in November, Jeff Bezos' company continues to challenge our imagination with a bold timeline that many say, no way. Adding to the ridiculousness, Bezos engaged in a bizarre gesture aimed at his arch-rival Elon Musk, further fueling a question. What on earth is going on with Jeff Bezos and his rocket company? Stay tuned for an in-depth analysis of this ongoing saga. Anyway, thank you for helping us reach 88,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. Blue Origin recently made an interesting video sharing the company's vision and commitment to space exploration. Additionally, they say that they are actively seeking passionate individuals to join its mission of space exploration and development. The video also shares a bit about New Glenn, Blue Origin's big rocket that's about to launch. The rocket was born because the company's vision includes creating a future where millions of people can live and work in space, leveraging its resources for the benefit of the Earth. For that reason, in their own words, they have made a beast. The big rocket is considered to be modern and reusable competitive to SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. It's safe to say New Glenn is slightly larger than Falcon 9 with a height of 98 meters and a diameter of 7 meters. Its larger size gives it the ability to deliver a 45-ton payload to low Earth orbit and its 7-meter diameter payload fairing helps it to stay commercially competitive as it can accommodate large objects such as Sierra Space's Dream Chaser with its Shooting Star cargo module. While Falcon 9 employs Merlin engines that use RP-1 kerosene and liquid oxygen, New Glenn utilizes BE-4 engines that burn liquefied natural gas and liquid oxygen. BE-4 engines outperform Merlin in terms of power but are totally dwarfed by SpaceX's advanced new rocket engine, the Starship Raptor engine. However, no matter how advanced the rocket was advertised, New Glenn was still considered a major disappointment by the space industry. Many people raise the high hope that the presence of this rocket on the market will weaken SpaceX's monopoly position, but Blue Origin has let them down. After many years and many delays, the vehicle has yet to fly. This December, Jeff Bezos's company has sparked the hope a little bit by announcing that they are planning a launch of New Glenn on New Year's Ever with the launch window on December 31st or January 1st from 11.30 p.m. to 2.45 a.m. If everything goes according to plan, this will be a real gift and fireworks to welcome the new year. But is that timeline realistic? The 320-foot-tall New Glenn rocket is currently awaiting static fire testing and the necessary FAA launch license, despite being on the launch pad for over a month. The hot fire test is crucial as it is the final assessment needed to confirm the rocket's readiness for its inaugural flight. Without this testing completed, an early launch date cannot be assured. Additionally, only a few minor updates regarding the flight have been shared, primarily about small-scale testing. This lack of transparency has raised significant concerns about the likelihood of a launch occurring this year, especially since we are just a week away from the end of 2024. To make matters more complicated, the ex-user has pointed out what is referred to as Berger's Law, suggesting that the launch date for New Glenn in 2024 is likely to be postponed. This humorous saying, coined by Ars Technica editor Eric Berger, states, If Rocket is predicted to make its debut in quarter four of a calendar year, and that quarter is six or more months away, the launch will be delayed. Indeed, in August, the Washington-based company set a fourth-quarter launch date for New Glenn's debut flight. However, with four months already passed and the launch date still distant, it seems that Berger's law may be proving true in this instance. So how about you? 
Do you think Berger's law will be true in this case? Please comment yes in the comment section below. One more interesting tidbit, Berger's law also works in the other cases. For example, the CEO of Sierra Space, Tom Weiss, on April, declared confidently that Dream Chaser's first flight would be in the fourth quarter of this year. And finally, the launch is now targeted somehow in 2025. Or a German new space startup, Rocket Factory Augsburg AG, aka RFA, underlined their maiden launch date of the RFA-1 rocket no earlier than quarter 4, 2023. Surprisingly, with a series of delays, the maiden launch is now slated for no earlier than 2025. Although New Glenn's inaugural test flight may be postponed until next year, Jeff Bezos remains determined to narrow the gap in the space race with Elon Musk. In an unexpected move, Blue Origin's founder has begun following Musk on X, which could be seen as an attempt to mend their fraught relationship. Or it reflects another plot. Both billionaires have amassed their fortunes through groundbreaking technology companies, but Musk has consistently outpaced Bezos in their shared goal of space colonization. Their rivalry began in 2004, characterized by public criticisms, including Musk labeling Bezos a copycat for his space endeavors. Recently, tensions escalated when Musk accused Bezos of suggesting that others sell their Tesla and SpaceX stocks a claim that Bezos denied. Bezos's recent decision to follow Musk on X comes as he is approaching two significant milestones. Blue Origin is preparing for the launch of New Glenn, which will directly rival SpaceX's reusable Falcon 9 rockets. Additionally, Amazon, under Bezos's leadership as executive chair, is set to roll out Project Kuiper, a satellite network designed to compete with SpaceX's Starlink in providing internet access from low Earth orbit. Together, these initiatives represent a bold challenge to SpaceX's stronghold in the commercial space market. The introduction of New Glenn and Project Kuiper marks a new chapter in the ongoing rivalry between the founders of Amazon and Tesla. While both have achieved remarkable success in their respective industries, Musk has outperformed Bezos in the realm of space exploration reshaping rocket technology and launch frequency through SpaceX's innovations. SpaceX's reusable rocket boosters have significantly lowered launch costs and increased the frequency of payload deliveries to orbit. This innovation is particularly beneficial for transporting satellites, cargo and crew to space stations, as it provides governments and other customers with limited alternatives. With launches occurring every few days, SpaceX accounted for approximately 85% of all orbital mass sent into space in the last quarter, which is 12 times more than the next largest competitor, China's primary government contractor. This year alone, SpaceX has completed over 130 launches and is currently testing a larger rocket called Starship. Additionally, SpaceX's Starlink network boasts more than 6,000 satellites in orbit, serving over 4 million customers and providing crucial internet access to remote areas, including war zones and rural regions. In contrast, although Jeff Bezos founded Blue Origin around the same time, it has yet to launch any payloads into orbit. The reasons for this bitter fact are revealed by BO's founder himself in an interview in 2023. During the interview, Bezos candidly acknowledged that Blue Origin needs to be much faster, and it's one of the reasons that I left my role as the CEO of Amazon a couple of years ago. Slowness partly comes from indecision, not daring to take risks and fail. It's safe to say that BO gets obsessed with getting things exactly right, which is reflected clearly through the logo, which is a feather that symbolizes the perfection of flight. Although the BE-4 engine has the same thrust as Starship's Raptor 2, it is still not considered as powerful as the Raptor in general. This is due to the philosophy of living in a safe zone that BO has pursued all the time, meaning never testing the engine in its final frontier to reduce the risk of explosion as much as possible. The information surrounding the development of the new Glenn rocket is rarely shared with the public because BO probably does not want to reveal its weaknesses. 
However, does this make sense anymore now that the world knows about their slowness? Jeff Bezos and his rocket company have become the focus of public criticism. People call B.O. the big joke in the aerospace industry. New Glenn is the toy next to Starship. The slowness and lack of reliability in the B.O. rocket development process caused Jeff to continuously lose valuable contracts to Elon. On the other hand, SpaceX is famously not afraid to fail. They also failed multiple times in their attempts to land the Falcon rocket many years ago, and the company narrowly went bankrupt in 2021. Starship's Raptor engines have been continuously pushed to the limitation in tests, leading to a series of explosions and, most seriously, the damage on OLM last April, causing the seven-month holding up of Starship. Despite these obstacles, Elon Musk still upholds the spirit of never giving up. It explains why Jeff Bezos is increasingly determined to accelerate Blue Origin's pace, starting with shaking up the leadership of the company. Last year, former Amazon executive Dave Limp, who ran products such as Kindle, was pointed to replace the former chief executive officer of Jeff Bezos' space company, Blue Origin, Bob Smith. Bob Smith has led Jeff Bezos' rocket company since 2017. He was a longtime aerospace executive at Honeywell. During his tenure at Blue Origin, the company flew the first crewed mission of the New Shepard suborbital rocket flying Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos to the edge of space in 2021. However, Smith has faced criticism for his leadership of Blue Origin, including an open letter from former employees in 2021 alleging safety concerns and a sexist environment. Dave Limp has been the lead executive on Project Kuiper and previously spent 15 years at Amazon. He believes that adopting the e-commerce giant's customer-focused approach could be crucial for revitalizing Blue Origin. He noted that when he took over nearly a year ago, the company was overly focused on research and development and needed to accelerate manufacturing while prioritizing customer needs, whether they were scientists or space tourists. Limp identified two primary objectives for 2024, increasing engine production, and successfully launching the New Glenn rocket. The company aims to have New Glenn ready for launch by the end of the year, which would significantly demonstrate its ability to compete with SpaceX if successful. Limp emphasized the importance of transitioning from creating impressive prototypes to becoming a world-class manufacturer, highlighting the need for a shift in focus to meet customer demands effectively. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.